Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is going to help us out up here at the top. Always look for the giveaways and other pertinent information during the video. So for today, I got you guys the Iashin Nano VTX. This is a new Nano VTX brought to us by Iashin, equally as small as other Nanos you're going to see out there. However, this little guy here does pit mode, 25 milliwatt, 100 milliwatt, 200 milliwatt, and 400 milliwatt. So itty bitty nano sized guy doing 400 milliwatt so that is super exciting and can't wait to get this on something so i'm going to stick it on this little three inch here that i got some time ago that they didn't send me all the parts to so i'm gonna have to print a top plate all kinds of goodies uh to make this little guy work with this little fly color um stack i've got going here but we're gonna put it on that to test with now to give you an idea how small it is this is an xm nano or an xm mini so the tiny one and there is an xm plus next to it and it's still smaller it's small enough to piggyback on this eos 2 and it's going to fit somewhere in between a 16 by 16 stack and definitely between your 20 by 20 stack now you're going to get this little manual in there the manual is going to tell you everything you need to know as far as setting the um setting it up and setting the uh channels and power and all that through the button on the front here it's going to show you our 5 volt in ground rx that's going to be for your smart audio you're going to want to use that and it's going to have a 5 volt out a ground out and the video um, out so that's going to run to your fc right there and the 5 volt out and ground out can power your camera now remember do not plug this into your vcc run it to a 5 volt pad or you are going to burn this sucker up as i mentioned if you uh, go inside you can see all of the uh, information you need as far as setting your channels and such via the button it's going to tell you to hold it down for short to change the channel two seconds uh, and to change the band and you're going to long hold it for six seconds to change your power uh, all corresponding to a different light on the board and now it does come with this little ipex dipole antenna i'm not going to use that i'm going to use a lollipop antenna but you most certainly can use the dipole if you wanted to i just prefer these little lollipops, uh, they work great for me always. On all my videos, look for the links down below to purchase any of these products. Anything you purchase will slightly help me out to help get more things to review for you. But as you can see, they fit nicely on these smaller quads. So next up, we are going to solder everything on. And as you can see, here's our lights and they are easy to change with the button on there. I always plug everything on, check it out with my um, remote VTX monitor there so I can just make sure everything works before I button up these quads. But as I said, there's the uh, manual if you want to set up it that way, but I prefer to actually do it with the tramp uh, set up on it so it's just gonna be much either it's easier to do with smart audio and this one does use tramp so just remember to set that in beta flight to the UART you have soldered the smart audio onto off we go and it's as easy as yaw left and pitch up on your sticks and you will go in and you go to the tramp side you can change your channel band and your power um, in my area e8 is the best signal for me so we'll go ahead and change that up you set it you confirm it and you question if you set it then you go back and back again and you save and reboot and you will see that we have now changed to there's our yaw and pitch up if you ever need to know it it'll tell you right there and we're on e8 on power level four so we are all set to go now if you look at the trees behind i am in florida and the hurricane is on the other coast so this is a windy flight but we'll be able to tell what we got here so pretty strong um i can tell you i really found it to be a nice vtx um you'll see here i am actually facing forward next to that orange car and going behind the house and we get a little bit of chop up from that but the whole house is to my back of my antennas on my goggles so 
that means my patch is not facing that direction or anything. So that little breakup is actually pretty impressive uh, for me. I usually get a heck of a lot more breakup in that kind of situation. So there's a little behind a tree with, again, it off to my side away from my patch. Again, your antenna placement and your, your body position when you're flying, uh, you know, VTXs can't do everything for you. You've got to help them out a little bit. So I deliberately had my back to it to, uh, to show you any kind of... Uh, blockouts or knockouts or blackouts we were going to get with it and we didn't get too many so so like i said i like it um it's dirt cheap that's the key um there's a lot of nanos out there that are much more expensive and this guy here is only coming in at 14 dollars 90 so once again check out the links below if you're interested in the fly color stack that i used on this build uh, the EOS camera or this little VTX all of them are very good all of them working out really well on a little three inch here and as always guys hopefully this was of some use to you I begin to wonder if it is at all any use to anyone but hopefully it is use to someone and I appreciate you checking out my videos and happy flying gang Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.